We have just released a new resource on our website for users of Old Western culture that answers two questions that we often receive from parents. It is the essential schedule for Old Western culture. And it answers the two questions, and I, I mentioned on this page that there's two types of, of people that would use this. Um, if you're wanting to cover the material at a faster pace, uh, basically there are parents whose child is maybe in 10th grade and they want what Old Western culture gives them, but they don't have the time to do it at the normal recommended full schedule. And so this essential schedule for Old Western culture is one way for them to move through the full curriculum in a shorter amount of time. We also get uh, pe parents asking us about the reading load and they're concerned that it's either too much or their kids are younger or they're wanting to simply take more time on the books to do it more leisurely. And so th uh, this schedule is also very useful for them. Um, this is not, and I want to make a few notes, which I mentioned on our page in, in an introduction, but this is not a light version of Old Western culture. It's more like a different approach. Um, and there's one important uh, principle at work here. Um, if, you're, if you're covering more material, or in other words, going faster, or if you're just reading slower, you're, you're still reading a lot of material. Old Western culture is a robust reading program and reading uh, skipping some of the works does not mean that you are now doing a light program even our essentials list would be considered an honors program in in most schools so this uh, essential schedule is not uh it, it, you know it is a uh Essentials Among Essentials. Uh, this is already a great books program. So one thing I, I mentioned is that feel free to disagree with this, but the principle here is that you would read some of the more essential or highlights of the works of each unit, and then you would watch all the videos, which gives an overview of the entire um, period as well as the books you're not reading. Um, so this is a very effective way to do Old Western culture to have that big picture of uh, Western civilization um, and yet not get bogged down or um, go, you know, not have the time to go through the, four, the full program. Um, so I, I just want to walk through a little bit what it looks like. Um, for the first year of Old Western culture, the Greeks, there is quite a list, and we have also released a full list all in one place of the books you would read. In our pared down list, the first unit, the epics, um, is a heavy unit already with the full Iliad and Odyssey. And here, we've just dropped the uh, Odyssey, so you would read the Iliad. Uh, Drama and Lyric has you reading the Agamemnon by es uh, Aeschylus, Oedipus the King by Sophocles, and the Medea, Medea by Euripides. So that is, uh, so we have Drama and Lyric here. Um, if you are, you can of course be using your own books, but if you're using our, our reader, you would have all of these um, in the book, and that's really, well, it's mixed throughout, so I can't just point to a section, but that's a very moderate amount of reading compared to the, the full book. Um, for the histories, we recommend the History of the Peloponnesian War by Thucydides. You're skipping Herodotus and our selections um, from um, Xenophon. Um, and so here we have our new hardback, uh, the Greek histories reader. Um, and this is one where uh, if you have a, a great uh, selection of um, Thucydides, go, by all means use it, but we do have a slightly abridged version in here that, um, that, that already pulls out the essentials. And so we do recommend this reader in particular for that one, or at least access to the digital version if you're reading your own book. Um, for the philosophers, we have the Apology the, and the Phaedrus by Plato and the Poetics by Aristotle. So, you know, there you, you know, you are skipping um, uh, the Republic, which is of course an important work, but um, the lectures will go over these works that you're skipping. So it's not that, like you're not touching them at all. And the other thing is you can read small selections of them, but we don't want to have an excerpted approach to the great book. So I would much prefer a student read the entire apology and maybe glance through a page through the others, but read one full work than to read a few paragraphs of all the works. That's an important concept of what we're doing here. And that would sum up your Greeks. You're reading, um, of course, these works are not um, all equal in size, but you're reading, uh, let's see, eight works for the entire year. 
The Romans, the first unit, you would be reading the Aeneid. We actually don't yet have a reader for the Aeneid because it's mostly just the Aeneid. Um, and, and like the Iliad, it's a larger book, but well worth it. It's worth taking your time. Um, for the historians, you're reading The Lives by Plutarch, The Life of Demosthenes, Cicero, Alexander the Great, and Caesar, and Book Three of On Duties, um, which are all found in our uh, historians, or you can, of course, get your own editions. This one's easy to use your own editions on. For early Christianity, we have the uh, Didache, and the Eusebius. Now Eusebius has a longer work, and one of the things I say there is if it's a little bit longer for the schedule you're doing, read the first book of Eusebius, and then as many as you would like to go through. In this case, it would be in order. Um, and it is, you know, it is a fairly long work, and this one also is easy to use your own texts on. For Nicene Christianity, we recommend on the Incarnation by Athanasius and Confessions by Augustine. Confessions is a little longer, but also really well worth reading the full work. So um, it's all available in here as well. But this is this this unit as too is is easy to get your own works. Then uh, for Christendom, we have um, for early moderns the uh, Rule of Saint Benedict by Saint Benedict. Um, short work. That's a, a real pleasure to read. The Book of Pastoral Rule by Gregory the Great and Beowulf. For Defense of the Faith, the Proslogium by Anselm of Canterbury and History of the Kings of Britain of, by Geoffrey of Monmouth. That's a little bit of a longer work there, but also uh, uh, very influential and not as often read, even though it's definitely part of the canon of the great books. For, for the medieval mind... If you must skip one of the Divine Comedy, I would say if you're going to read one, read The Inferno. But I'm going to have some people mad at me for even suggesting that. Just read all three. The entire Divine Comedy is worth your time. And it's poetry. Just enjoy it. So uh, we what we did skip to cut down is the um, Thomas Aquinas' Compendium. However, it's not very long. And it is also very easy to read. Um, smaller sections on. So that, you know, this would be a good one to have in our edition. This is the Longfellow translation, so, you know, with poetry, translations matter more, so it depends on your preference there, but we do have our selections of compendium that are easy to use. So that's, some of these are harder uh, to choose the, 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 you know, the essential, you know, what's a, essential in a great books list is, is you know, is hard. So, um, and, and we go through, early moderns will be coming through. I choose some from the Reformation Reader as well, which I don't have here. Um, but go ahead and take a look at our essential schedule for Old Western culture. This answers the question of how do I fit multiple years of Old Western culture into fewer years, as well as the question of, we want to go a little slower, we can't quite keep up the reading, or it's, you know, we just want to enjoy it and smell the roses, uh, spending longer time on fewer books. Less is more. And I do think that is a wonderful way. Wes Callahan is actually doing that with his own online classes. He's using our curriculum. They're watching all the videos. They're getting the big picture overview, but they're reading fewer of the books in their entirety. So it's, uh, this is a not, this is not a light version. It is a different version of approaching a robust curriculum in a robust way. So enjoy the old Western culture and use these, this method if it answers one of those two questions for you. And uh, I didn't, let us know if you have any questions about it. And if you disagree with some of my essentials, that can create a great conversation as well. So I invite it. Thanks so much.